Hello guys, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to show you how to do the port forwarding. So many of you have been asking for this video and it's finally, uh, will be finally be uh, released. So the first thing you have to do is you have to go over to library, go to games, and here you find unturned and just open, uh, just find your uh, server, uh, just find found your server uh, map and uh, I'll just open it up the server map and here you'll find the command commands just open it up with notepad or whatever you have so make sure that your port is set to 27015 this is a really 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 important step if you haven't uh, set the port to 2715 uh, I really recommend doing it because it will help uh, yeah it will help so much so once you make sure that it's set to 27015 you just close everything down and then you uh, will type cmd here in the uh, search bar and now uh, you will find the command prompt so it will look like this uh, although it's really weird but yes and then we'll type in here ip configuration or ip config for simple and then a ton of st stuff will pop up but no don't worry don't worry the only thing you have to care about is the ip4 address and the default gateway and the IPv4 address uh, will you deal with later, but now just use the default gateway. The default, when you uh, see your default gateway, in my uh, case it's uh, 192.168.1.1, just head over to. So then you have to open, I'm sorry, uh, then you have to open up your browser and then you'll type the default gateway here. So in my case, it's 192. <laughs> Okay, so once you've opened up your browser, you have to type your IP, uh, your default gateway. So in my case, it's 192.168.1.1. So I'll just type that and hit enter. And now this will pop up. Don't freak out about this because there is a username and a password to every router. So in my case, it's a user and a password, but it will be different for every router. Uh, but it's usually like admin password or password password user user so yeah <coughs> and how uh, how do you find this how do you find uh, how do you find the username and the password well you just can ask your parents or some uh, someone that knows about this but if they don't know you do, you just have to look under the router or on top of it because it would basically uh, you'll see a poster or a a po uh, yeah, you 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 just see a note, basically on it. So once you found your username and your password, you just have to type it in. So and then press enter. And now, this is an important step. Don't freak out about this. Don't no. Every router is not the same. I I'm not lying or anything. It's not the same. Just yeah. So my router does look like this. Yeah, it does. But your router will not look the same. So the thing you have to find is the advanced settings, because basically the port forwarding step is under advanced settings, pretty much all, all the time, pretty much. So now uh, you'll try to find something called port forwarding or NAT. So in my case, it's NAT. And here you will pop up some stuff. Just it will probably not do it uh, for you because I have already done the port forwarding. Uh, so yeah uh, now uh, so i'll just go ahead and remove them and then i'll add a new services and i'll press the custom services to just name it you can name this whatever you want if you misspell it it doesn't matter it doesn't really matter just i'll just name it for unturned server because yeah i'll just go ahead and delete it later so now uh, your ip4 address comes in so you have to check your ip4 address and make sure that the end is the same as your IPv4 address. In my case, it's 61 at the end. So the IPv4 address will basically not be the same every time. If you restart your router, it will not be the same. So you have to do all these steps once again. Yeah, it is so to run server. And then you have to uh, set the protocol to both TCP and UDP. And now you have to uh, type 27015 where it says port start or external port start 
So now you may be thinking, I'll just do a 27015 again, but no, you're not. You, um, on turn, works out of uh, three ports, so you have to type like 27, 27018 here. And yeah, then you just hit enter or whatever. And then you can just hit apply and save. So now you, uh, this will pop up, and you just make sure that everything is set right. Um, and um, yeah, there is nothing more to say. Now people can actually join the server if they can't. If they just can't join the server, it's because your firewall is blocking. But I will not. Uh, I will not show you how to do the firewall exception uh, exception thing. So yeah, maybe if I get like 50 likes on this, I will do it for sure. But it's it's real advanced to do it. So yeah. And I can link you another video. There is a great video. Just look in the description uh, below. And yeah, that was basically all for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like and subscribe. But there is... And uh, now, there is only one step left. There is only one single step left. So, now, you will have over to what's my IP. Because people can't... People will be able to join by your public IP. To see what your public IP, you can just go to uh, what's my IP or IP chicken, whatever. Uh, for I'll just go into IP chicken because I don't know the new uh, yeah, yeah. What's my IP? It doesn't really work. IP chicken, and here you will see your IP address. And I have censored my out because I don't want you to DDoS me. Because if someone that you do not trust DDoS you. Uh, you, uh, they, they can basically do a ton of things with your router, which isn't nice at all. So, just give your IP address uh, to your friends, otherwise they can search it in the search bar, you know. And yeah, that was basically all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and press the like button, I will be pretty happy. So yeah, I'll see you later, I guess. And... Uh,